What is up guys, it is Turbo here and welcome, this is Oxford United, episode 131 and we have the away leg, second leg, against Manchester United in the uh, Champions League today and then we have one of our final league matches against Newcastle which will be tough, they are in 7th at the minute and we need every point in the league because we want to win it. And there's the teams for the Man United match and we need to go in and we need to get a 3-0 win and we nearly get a goal here with Polly but he's not the best at headering so I didn't really expect that to go in and we have to uh, defend a nice chance there but... Uh, from the uh, clearance, Atanasov just pounces on the ball, runs through everyone and really, really, really should have scored. But it doesn't really matter because Oxide chamberlain on the volley of all ways to score. He scores against Manchester United in the seventh minute off the rebound. Atanasov really should have been doing so much better against the Gaia there. But it uh, doesn't matter, Oxlade chamberlain grabs the goal and we are 3-2 down on aggregate. And we need another goal. And another goal we nearly got there on the 17th minute when... Um, we went through a good bit of defending from Man United though, and luckily, luckily that ball didn't find Rooney, or no, whoever that was, in the box. But uh, you see here Rooney's on the ball, and uh, he just he's just running down the wing and whips it in, and luckily Clark got to it, but uh, Manchester United were playing those balls across the box very, very often. But it doesn't matter because Oxford chamberlain received the ball from Matanasov, showed a bit of pace to get past all of the men, and then really, really nice finish into the opposite corner, and suddenly we're 2-0 up against Manchester United, and we're halfway to the Champions League final. And, uh, well, a really nice finish from Oxlade Chamberlain. You don't see him score often, but uh, when he does, it's always a nice goal. Unfortunately, because it's 3-3, uh, Man United will still go through on away goals, but uh, that, for me, is a penalty by far. The one in, last in the last episode was not, but that one definitely is. Look at that from Ilicic. Ilicic. That is a goal of the season, even if it isn't from um, my own team. But uh, well done to him. He, he kind of gives Man United a... Uh, a way in, and all we need is one more goal to take the match's penalties, and we were pushing for it, honestly. Um, the chance a minute ago, and then this chance here with Cabra on the ball, you're just trying to find a bit of space to work the ball into uh, into someone who can take a shot. It ends up going to Fry, who, uh, you know, isn't really the best for that kind of thing, but so that is a foul! He's obstructing the Tanisov, it's not fair! Uh, he does pinch the ball, but uh, nothing actually comes from it because he loses it pretty quickly. And uh, really, Tanisov could have scored again here, but... Uh, it's just nothing was going our way and that was in the 80th minute and we didn't actually have any chances so we are we did lose 2-1 and we have been eliminated from the Champions League at the semi-final but it doesn't matter we'll get we'll still get a good bit of money and uh, maybe we can win it next year I really was hoping to win it this year but so uh, we can win it next season which is going to be the last season by the way anyway we'll move on to the match against Newcastle here and um a really, really good block there by I think that's Buxton to uh, to deny to deny the centre forward there. That was really early in the match in the third third minute, and then from the corner, luckily uh, we managed to clear it out. They didn't quite get anything. We managed to block it, and our defending was really ac actually up to par. But uh, see, look how goals come out of nowhere. Ricardo Fuller there, he just passed. That was a shot, not a cross. And how did it go to him? And then he was all by himself. And uh, luckily, Clark managed to uh, stop him scoring. We managed to clear it out with the defence in the end. But uh, honestly. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Their goals just come out of nowhere again. Fuller here just... It's just... I don't... I, I hate FIFA when it does that. It's just like the handicap or something, but I don't know. I hate playing against the AI and they're like better than me. Because they're not. But anyway... If that had been a penalty, I would have been really pissed off. But you see Newcastle actually had to uh, make us defend for a, a large, large part of the first half. And we didn't really get on the ball until uh, the, this minute. So let's get kind of lucky to... Uh, to find the ball behind the defence as it was there, but uh, in the 38th minute he does grab a goal back, so we are on track to uh, to go back to winning ways in the league. We really do need a win, especially against Newcastle, that would be amazing. It makes it 1-1 in the uh, 38th minute, and we, at this point Newcastle is still the better team. I don't understand how, how we had more possession, just they had more chances, and we did not take ours. 11 here really, really should have done better, but a uh, really nice goal. Should have done better. He does do better. 45th minute, 11. He scores one of his rare goals, actually. I think he might retire at the end of the season. No, I'm, too, I'm not too sure. He is quite old now, but uh, that is a nice goal to remember him by. If anything, I'm going to put that in goal of the season just because it's 11. You know, he doesn't score too often, and it's a nice smash into the top corner. That makes it 2-1 as well. That was an important goal. And uh, we, well, we did, from here on in, we did look like the better team. We were having chances left, right, and centre, but uh, you'll see here, Stephen Fletcher, of all people. Stephen? I can't remember his name. Stephen, I think. 
Stephen Fletcher does us over. Starting with this goal here, I don't know how he kept the ball for this long, but uh, no, not this goal. It, it will come in a minute. You see, just we were having chances, but in the end, Newcastle took the game, and uh, it begins now. Ashley Young, for some reason, is playing for Newcastle, but uh, his free kick ricochets off the wall and off for a corner. And then, uh, well, Wheater, of all people, misses. And I've kind of lost for words here because Cisco actually grabs a equaliser in the 90th minute. And the final score was 2 2. So sorry I went a bit quiet there, guys, but as you see, we're not top anymore. And we do not have any chance of winning the league because Manchester United have Norwich on the last day. And we have Chelsea and Everton. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll finish off the league next time and there'll also be uh next episode is going to be a long episode i'll talk about the season and uh, everything so yeah thanks for watching and see you later